there is only one miracle which Jesus worked, which is found in all the four Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels and John, and it is the healing of the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish in which 12 baskets are gathered. Even the numbers are seen in all the Gospels. There is no other miracle that is common to all the four Gospels. However, we will read about another feeding in the Gospel of Mark chapter 8 verses 1 to 10, which is also found only in Matthew and not in Luke and not in John. The second feeding miracle is a miracle in which 4,000 are fed, so it is lesser than the first feeding miracle where 5,000 are fed, in which there are seven loaves, more loaves than the five required in the first feeding, few fish, which means definitely more than two required in the first feeding, and only seven baskets are gathered when 12 baskets were gathered in the first feeding. What is the point which Mark is making? In an earlier text, Mark had said through the mouth of Jesus to the Syrophoenician woman, let the children be fed first. And so, the children, the ones whom Jesus had come for primarily, were fed in the first miracle in chapter 6, verses 35 to 44. In the miracle of today, which is a less abundant miracle, the others are being fed. And so Mark is saying that Jesus was not exclusive, but he was inclusive. Jesus was a man of his times and wanted to reach out to his people, but he did not restrict himself to only doing that. The territory the area in which Jesus is in the gospel text of today in which the miracle occurs is Gentile territory, is territory in which outsiders lived, is territory in which the people of Jesus' own tribe did not live. And yet, when Jesus comes and sees this huge crowd before him, he does not want them to go away hungry, but he invites his disciples to be co-creators and collaborators with him in his work of reaching out, in his work of recreating, in his work of giving to people what they require. And the point that Mark is making is that the response of Jesus was not only on the spiritual level, was not only on the psychological level, but was also on the very practical level of giving people something for their bodies, of giving people something to make them whole physically and to make them strong. And the bread which Jesus offers to the people, the fish which he offers to the people are symbols of his own life. He offers in the bread and in the fish himself. And by saying that he offers himself, we mean that he came to save the whole human race. And this salvation is not merely a spiritual salvation. This salvation is a salvation which encompasses every single aspect of life. Questions have been raised about what really happened at the feeding. How was seven loaves and few fish enough to feed 4,000? And a variety of explanations have been offered. Some say that Jesus was very friendly with the Essene community. And the Essenes would hide their food in holes in the ground. And Jesus was reaching into those holes after talking with the Essene community and using that bread in order to feed the 4,000. 
others say that there is really no explanation. It was a miraculous event and must be interpreted in that way. Still others say that the numbers are possibly exaggerated. There may have been more than seven loaves, there may have been a few loaves and fewer people, therefore it would be enough. Others say it was merely a symbolic feeding. That means the people never really ate their fill, though the text very clearly says that not only did the people eat, but that seven baskets were gathered. So what is the explanation which makes sense to us? If we are rational and reasonable, then this explanation possibly makes the most sense to us. That means Jesus took out his own stash of loaves and fish and placed it before the people. People saw his generosity. People experienced his generosity and because of his generous action, they too were motivated to be generous and they too took out of their stashes what they were holding and laid it on the table with Jesus. And so, seven and few were enough to feed 4,000 in which seven baskets were gathered. No matter which explanation you would like to accept, one thing is very clear, that our lives here on earth are not meant to be selfish and self-centered lives. Our lives here on earth are not meant to be lives where we live only for ourselves. Our lives here on earth are meant to be lives in which we reach out to those in need. If I have more than I need, if I have abundance, is it possible for me to reach out to somebody in need and share what I have with others? Our world is a world in which more than 60 or 70 percent of our people still live below the poverty line, which means they do not even have a square meal to eat. And yet there are those of us who have more than enough. Can today be a day in which I, like Jesus, will reach out in love and generosity to someone in need? Will I, like Jesus, become bread and fish for someone today?